Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a note about using this popular uh, online application, WinDiddy, uh, to study or watch, follow the uh, race to Alaska. Um, this is the conditions uh, literally right now, I mean the place right now. This is Mad Dog, a boat we've been following. See, it's sitting there moving at 2.5 knots, 2.5 knots, uh, essentially sitting out there waiting for these guys to catch up a little bit. They're uh, six knots, and this guy's six knots, and maybe he's, uh, well, wait a minute. And this guy is going five knots. So they're going two knots. These guys are going six, six knots down here, so they're catching up at the time being and uh, but the wind is light out here so the um, what I want to show here is the uh, use of this it's not often considered a professional tool but it's really pretty nice for uh, looking at uh, looking at these conditions let me first show you the real con what you get from the National Weather Service the official one you just Google uh, OPC Ocean Prediction Center OPC space National Weather Service and you'll come right to here and then click Pacific and then click here and here is the map and where the boats are uh, in this region right in here and uh, there's no there's this front coming in tonight and it uh, I don't know exactly the effects of that but um, uh, in fact it doesn't come in this way is the way it ends up but right now you see that there's nothing much going on in this region which was valid at um, 5 a.m. this morning and then when you're on that page, you can also go back and look at the 24-hour forecast. That shows now a warm front across this area uh, without much distortion of the isobars. So again, uh, the potential wind here uh, later on, this is now 5 p.m. Uh, let's see, 00, zero on the 29th, that'd be 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time today. And you can go ahead and look to the 48 hour, oh, here's the wind. So, the, you know, they show the wind. That's sea state actually in feet. That's uh, not much. So there's, they don't show a whole lot of wind there. So these are the buttons you can click around with here and look at the, again, um, not much gradient in this area. Uh, so that's the official forecast. Now the one I want to, the sort of the fun game, uh, uh, like a game is a, interaction. This is the Wind Diddy, which is this sort of virtualization uh, has been out for many, many years and several people have done it, but these folks have homed in and really over the past several years have done the best job. So it's wind, windyty.com. And uh, so they're showing here, this is a little bit of a mystery to me, I don't quite understand it. They say they have a GFS model, they're using a virtualization of the GFS model at 13 kilometers. But I, to my knowledge, they don't have GFS data that resolution. Likewise, they have this North American mesoscale model, they show 5 kilometers. I think that's 12 and I think this is 28, but I don't know, this, it, that's what they say here. But these are numerical weather prediction models and these are pretty good, this is a global model and this one has uh, takes into account the influence of the land. So let's just look at this one. And so the boat is, and you just can go here, here's the time. This is now Tuesday, 11 a.m., that's about right now. And you see, they say, this is where the boat is about here. They say the wind is 10 knots out of the sort of north, uh, north, northwest. But that's not true. That wind is not 10 knots right now, or that boat Mad Dog would not be going uh, two knots. That boat would be going 10 knots or 15 knots if that wind were really that strong. So it's not that strong. This is just, this is a model. It's just not quite right. But even though it's not right exactly, uh, we can also sort of have more confidence in the um, trends. And if you want to look at, and you get, by the way, you just click this. I'm a left clicking here, and it just drops this in and tells you what the wind is. So they have to basically, whoops, what's that here? I'm going to close that. They've got to come up here and decide. They're going to Bella Bella, 
which is somewhere up in here. Well, here's another nice thing. Oh, look at that. Bella Bella right in here. See, you can go here and just click that, and I've done it before. That's why it remembered that. So look how neat that is. You just type in where they're going, Bella Bella, and it finds it, gives you a full report up here at Bella Bella, and I don't know what that is. Is that the wind or something? Knots. Yeah, I can't. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's a it's a forecast of some kind. You can look at that, which is a nice thing to play with, but it's really neat being able to click these things. You can also, if you wonder how cold it is when they're going to be out there on the water, according to this forecast, you see right now it's a 58 degrees, 58 degrees, and then you just drag this along. There's 2 p.m., and then, one, th then it's at night. And you can see the temperature. That's a nice thing to play with and so on. And then back to the wind. And uh, so you can zoom that out. And then, you know, at some point here, they have to make a decision. Am I going to go outside or inside? And I, I'm just guessing. But if it's uh, all nice conditions, they might just go outside, not in here. Although, um, it, well, look here. You click out here, and that's uh, seven knots. And you click in here, and that's three knots. But the, the GFS model is not going to do very good with that. We might have a better shot at the truth with this guy, with, the, with this uh, regional model. And now the regional model here says outside 9 knots, 10 knots here. And look at 7 knots, so 6 knots. And so that's it. That's a tool I wanted to just show you to play with. It's a, and you can go all the way up, you know, all the way up to Ketchikan here. And um, where is Ketchikan? They're going to clear up in... They're going clear up in here somewhere, catch can. And so throughout these next couple days, as you're watching it, this is, I can't think of a neater, neater picture. And then you can almost, once the boats get out here in the open, you can also judge from knowing the boats and their speeds, whether or not this is right or wrong. But the general idea is that, like, you could watch how the changes. And chances are the changes would be right. So if it says the wind's increasing, uh, during the day, then you could probably guess it will, although the exact amounts might be wrong. You can look at the waves, the sea state. Uh, that's pretty nice. You see 15 second waves. That's kind of a, that's a swell actually, a low swell, um, and so forth. Okay, that's the note. Uh, you've got the original one, and then this uh, over here. That's that.